Good morning. So, uh, another week. Uh, more time to work on Snippet Pixie next. So, where were we last week? Um, okay, we were working on sync options. So, yeah, so in the, um, we're doing some tests here. Um, and we've got a few things to test. So we've got a sync snippets service now. Um, and it takes some options. Um, and we need to make sure that we can force a snippet with the same abbreviation to be updated. So its body gets updated. So what have we got done so far? So, so far we have existing snippets are skipped by default. So we've got a brand new options here, so it's not going to do any kind of override. Um, and all the snippets are coming from the skeleton where we create three. So they get skipped. Then the next test is a new snippet is imported. So we're going to create a new snippet. Um, and that gets added and whereas the others still get skipped. And now we're going to do these things. So to do get snippets and check new snippet exists. So update existing snippet with same abbreviation. However, ID is not set and should not change. Okay. That's another thing we've got to do there. So let's pass in single we will snippet with changed body. Okay. So that's something we can easily test. Let's see before we get going. Where are we? Right, this is probably gonna fail. Because, yeah, because we've already done the changes. We've appended debus snippet. And then this, we're obviously in the process. Okay, yeah. Let's just double check that that's going to fail. Uh, make a test. Yeah. Two two seven. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Well, let's. Yeah. Let's get this one working, and then we'll double back and do the little sort of interim tests up here. Um. So. Pass in single wibble snippet with changed body. We've also got to update the options as well. So what we're going to expect is nothing created but one updated. Because at the moment, all four are getting skipped, but we only expect three. Um, and what we've got to do is we've got to change the options here. So, so that's true. We also need to update the Wibble. I've created that just there. Mm. We know that's the fourth here, so we can just kind of 
pack it in, I guess. Hmm. Actually, if we do this test first. Let's see, if we do that, then we're going to get the IDs back. Which is okay. Except for the moment. That means we get an automatic skip here. Because we won't have a null ID. We can go get it. And then we won't be testing the abbreviation as such. But we will at least be able to do the test of the abbreviation being the same. Because this is where it's going to start getting a bit messy when we have an ID and abbreviation. We need to do a bunch of floor checks to see if they match the same record and all this kind of stuff. Let's, um, we're going to do legacy path first, legacy semi happy path and just do an abbreviation. So let's Yeah, we should be okay, because we're going to get here. And get this. And then we can deal with it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's do this then. Ah, uh, sorry, this. Um, I guess we can just mimic this. Hmm. Mm, that's a good point, actually. Well, I guess we could just... Actually, we've already done it here. We'll copy that. Do it again.
bit of an easy way to strip out a an array. Can I delete or truncate or anything like that? Oh, it's a slice actually, isn't it? I guess I could remake it. See what happens there. Okay, so hopefully that's going to remake. And have we already got any tests up here for... We'll just do simple stuff here. Um, I just want to test that the, the fourth has what we want. So we'll do is yeah is equal debus snippets. Deviation to little back tick, and we did wibble wobble dot on the body. Don't know what the ID is, don't care what the ID is. Don't really care about the last used at the moment either. So that's enough. Okay. So here we're going to start updating things. So we're going to do deeper snippets three body. Uh, is now equal to wibble wobble all day long. Because that is important. Okay, so now we've got that, and we're going to say we expect one to be updated because we just updated the body of that fourth one. And then we'll do a get here. Now that's going to... That's basically that again, so let's do that.
think what I might do is while I'm here, what I'll do is um, existing ID is equal to dbus snippets three ID um, keep track of existing snippets. ID to test whether changed. Okay. Right. down here that should be good okay so it's going to get as far as this line here and then it's going to fail because we haven't done any update code but in theory we should get there i think and then it's going to bail out but we will see um let's just test that don't need all the tests running Uh, what? Oh, that's the wrong test. <laughs> Not in there. Um, in here. There we go. Oh. Ah, okay, because they're ordered when they come back by um, abbreviation. Okay, so that's going to be... Given that we've got... In the scale, we've got two before it and then the www, I think. Yeah. So it'll be BP, SP, Wibble, and then WW. Okay. So we need to change the numbers on that. Just up on. And same here. But we're not going to get there yet. Okay. All right, there we go. Y4? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's good. All four wanted to update because they're all existing. Um, 
but we ended up skipping all all four because we have no update code so let's fix that so here Now we're going to start doing stuff. I think I want to change this a little bit. It's kind of a priority thing here. So if the UUID matches, we need to deal with it there and then and then skip or whatever. And then Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I want to make sure that we have things dealt with in a priority here. So um, I basically want to do that. And then here, decide what to do. So I'd want to do something like that, I guess. Do continue here. Ugh. And I think this is going to require an extra parameter here because we have no ID thing yet. So for the time being,
actually. This is more like it. I want to do that, and then no matter what, we'll be doing that somewhere in there. Because if we found it, we've got to deal with it. So if we're going to do an update, with whatever params we're going to put there. Um, yeah. And then for the moment, um, we're going to just do a um, debug here. Okay, so that deals with that, which means that everything's going to Everything's going to fail there at the moment. Well, skip there at the moment. Yeah. And I think what I want to do is take that out of there. Make sure. With tests. That this doesn't get to when it's got an ID. So it does a reviation like this. So we're going to get it. And then we'll do well, let's just do that at the moment. Let me take all that out now. Um, okay. Yeah, we do need that guard there. In case we have a legacy without an ID. Because we're just wasting time otherwise, but yeah. So let's make this do that so I can see it. So this is still going to fail at the moment, but we're getting closer to this kind of the shape of things we want. So if we have an ID that matches, um, it's going to fail by that on basically everything now. Um, and then if miraculously it gets past that, we'll look for the abbreviation. Um, and if, yeah, should update there. And then otherwise there's a new snippet. We've not found it. And we just need to insert it. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Right, so everything should still fail. Yeah, so 
So all the IDs were found on 244. So to double check that's what I expected it to be. Yeah. So we've updated the body. And so we're expecting one to be updated, but they've all got IDs and fell out. Um, so this is where things get a little bit tricky. Because we're currently doing legacy params and there's no concept of an ID. So we can't say, look, do an update if the ID matches. Basically, the update is purely based on abbreviation. So I think we need to start improving the options here. So we are going to allow update and then the other um, here option whatever well in eventually once we're doing the sub command will be something like Summary Bixie import file name then we'll have an update flag Then maybe something like See, this is the problem. I was going to say use use abbreviation or use ID, but I still don't know what to do if they clash. So if we have an update where an ID matches and we try and update it with a new abbreviation which happens to already exist. Under a different ID. Because we do not, well we can't have duplicates. I guess we just have to complain and say nope. Why don't we exist with that? Unless we do like a look ahead and uh, see if the existing ID for the other abbreviation is getting updated. We could do that, but that's something to do in the future. So here
let's say use ID and superior. What do we want it the other way around? Because in the new form, it might be better to use the ID anyway. And it's abbreviation that's the anomaly. That's kind of the legacy mode, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. We need to move to the ID. So here So somehow I need to skip through this so that we can get to here and do check. I'm going to, have to have delete methods and stuff soon as well. And I'll do this just to be sure. It's going to get messy there. It really is. I 
I can see all these different uh, ways it's going to clash. So many edge cases. Because even there, we're going to fail at the moment. So we're going to skip. We don't want to skip. Okay. I think I think I need to do something a little bit smarter there. I think I need to do... I need to go back to what I did before. Get the current snippet. And then look at it. And determine, based on the options, whether it's... updatable or not. So All right, so we'll keep this stuff down here at the moment. I'm going to go back and take that out again. I'm going to put that back in. Okay, so I reverted there. So, if we have an ID be passed in, try and get the snippet based on that. If we don't currently have that, because that is the primary key, 
then we try and get it on the abbreviation. If we have a snippet, so here we go. So if So regardless of whether a null came in or not on the ID, nil. Um, so I've cast a bit ID. It's the same. as the sync snippet ID. And couple of things here so we can shortcut out with a if the current snippet is not equal to now and options to update Then we need to skip. Okay. Existing snippet. So found matching snippet, but not updating. Bam. It's probably bad to say. If what we're going to do here, we've got a few things we can do. We could check it. So we already know we're updating, assuming we've got a current snippet. So what we could do here is Let's do the abbreviations first, just because it's going to be easier just now.
we could do Okay, so I'll do something there. Yeah, because otherwise. Yeah, because in that case, right, we found a snippet and it's either got the same ID. Or the same abbreviation, but we don't know which mode we're in. See, we could get into a real mess there. I guess I could just do it for the moment and then, because um, that's all we've got and then bounce on the others. If we do that, so I found it, I've got the abbreviation. We're using the abbreviation, but if that doesn't work. It doesn't match. Then we know it's ID and we can skip it. Yeah, and we could just do the obvious. OK. 
guess we could be careful here. So what we could actually do is actually do it inside. Just in case. Take that out for a moment. What's going on there? What's that? What's that? All right. Oh, it kind of gets a bit messy, doesn't it? So Yeah, you don't actually need anything else in there. I need it here. Hmm. Yucky. Get deep. Kind of a bit nesty, isn't it? But does it do the job? So if we have a snippet one way or another, we need to deal with it or skip. So if we use an abbreviation as the key and we only update on that abbreviation being a match, we try the update and hopefully it passes and we get an update flag. Otherwise it'll bow with an error, maybe because ID matches. Something else. That's interesting, that'll do a rollback. And then otherwise, we've got to use the ID. Which I update that way. Okay. All right, I'm not going to do the updates just yet. I'm just going to check the test should catch that. So here we are updating. Update existence snippet with the same abbreviation. Our ID is not set and should not change. 
das. Fine. I think. Yeah, so we're coming in. Grab all the snippets, do a sync, nothing gets updated. Add a new snippet without an ID. It's brand new. Gets created. Re get the snippets. Check the new one exists. Grab the existing ID for that snippet, which should actually be uh, number two. Mm -hmm. Because it's switch position. We did not do that either. So our tests were wrong. If we were doing a live stream, I think people would have been screaming at me way before this. But anyway. So that's why I don't do live streams. I'll be very distracted. Um, but mind you, they would fix it, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so let's do this. So it goes down. Right, so passing a single wibble snippet with changed body. It's not true. We're not doing that. We are doing... snippets body okay I'm gonna allow an update and that in theory is by ID Then we go grab them. Check them. ID hasn't changed. Previation hasn't changed. And body has changed. So that's by ID. Which is not what we want. We want to just do abbreviation at the moment. So, let's make it by user abbreviation. Update existing snippet with same abbreviation. That's all we need to know. Okay. This will fail here because we're not actually doing the update. So on 261, we expect a failure. 
And we got one earlier. 244. And they buy region. 244. Ah. Because they all update. Which I kind of don't want. I don't want to be whacking the database every time if something's not changed. So, can I do this? And kind of snippet dot ID is not equal to. Sync snippet ID or oh, it's not gonna like this, is it? Do what kind of syntax? We'll find out in a minute. I'll join it all up. Let's see what happens. Um, so we've got the ID, body, last used. They can all get changed and updated. Okay. No, it really doesn't like that. Okay, let's hide. How do I get neat? Yeah. Hmm, don't like that formatting. Take it, I can't do receding. No. Lit. If it works, it works. Uh, so if the current abbreviation is equal to the sync abbreviation and anything has changed, so that's the ID, body, or last used because obviously abbreviation is the same. Then we're going to do an update. Otherwise we'll fall through to a skip. And then we could do the same. We'll just grab that and do it again here. Um, so just change up now. Then here we'll just do abbreviation instead. Update my ID. Okay. Okay, now we're at the right place. Two six one. So 
now got to the point where we are expecting the update to have happened. And we go grab the data, but it's not changed at the moment because we haven't actually done it. Oops. Let's go do it then. So we've got two functions for that. At the moment, update with ID and update with abbreviation. So I'm glad I kept that. I was going to nix that, but looks like we need it. Just to double check, abbreviation, fifth argument, one, two, three, four, five. So that should work there. And ID here, fifth argument, one, two, three, four, five. And update an ID, abbreviation, body last used. ID, abbreviation, body, last used. And then here, same again, ID, abbreviation, body, last used, with abbreviation, that's the key. Okay. Do we have tests for that? No. Whereas we do for that. Okay, wow, okay, we did quite a lot of tests for that. I'm gonna have to redo that for abbreviation in a minute. But in the meantime, um, what's the return? Just an error. Okay. Equals. No. Oh no, what have we got here? We've got stuff. Uh, S.snippets, that's what we're dealing with. And we're in... Ah, yeah, 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 okay. Forgot about that. So I made that non-public. Because I hadn't used it yet. Now we can. So, got a TX, and we've got, we use the sync snippet, abbreviation, and then the sync snippet. Any error? Bail. Otherwise, store. Okay. Same again here. But ID. ID, get rid of the format thingy. So these are kind of forced updates based on them, but at least they're going to fail if it breaks an index, in theory. And then we'll test that in a minute. Well, not in a minute, because I need to stop, but I get on with my day. But at some point. Okay.
database table is locked. Okay. Two four two. That's not good. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The bots test would be a better one to look at. Two, four, two, sync snippets. Right, okay. So why? Start the transaction, do the thing. I mean, I did, I did fix the, uh, database update, didn't I? Open. Yeah, so we're doing shared. Start the transaction. Do I have to? Surely not a single transaction. Ah, oh, but we need to do. Can't do a get. Because I've done an update. And so it's now needing a dirty read. And I'm not doing that. I want a committed read. That's going to be interesting. Let's see, let's double check where that happens. I run this test, debug, and then we will. Pop in. So skip that one, good. Come in second one. 
skip that one. So this is the one that should have problems. So this one. This is the one with the wibble wobble at the moment, but we are wanted to change it. So comes in user abbreviation is please abbreviation match ID match body. No. Oh. Okay, all right. So we do the update. The error is nil. Set update. Continue. Go to the next snippet. ID is not now. Go get it. Errors bang. Okay. Because we're now in a database tables locked. All right. Because we've already started updating. <laughs> That's a problem that I'm going to have to deal with another day. So, what to do? Um, fix. Trying to get snippet. After updates started. Okay. I suspect that's going to be, we either have to get everything up front and then keep the cache updated as we change things, which is doable. Um, so we can keep tabs. Or Or we're going to have to allow for a dirty read in that function. Because it's in a loop over stuff. If we do a, like, grab all the snippets and use that for checks. That does give us the ability to do a look ahead and say, well, okay. We're going to update 
this one's abbreviation for a clash but this other that second that clashing one is actually going to change too which is handy when we're using the ID as the key and the same in reverse for the if we use an abbreviation as the key we can check to see whether an ID is going to be updated instead which would help so we might need to do a prefetch I'm going to do some corrections and retries based on what we know is going to change. Hmm, that could work. Yeah, okay, right anyway, that's something for another day. So, um, Thanks for watching, um, and until next time, take care.